Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I am wearing a button up. I always feel like I used to dress up if you're an OG and then I stopped dressing up. You feel me? Because I just get lazy. So, yesterday, I want to go see a chiropractor. If you guys remember my my first experience with the first one uh i went with some girl and she kind of just like tickled me around like she didn't crack nothing uh, but with this new guy yeah feel me he looked like he was so excited when he saw me this was the first ever chiropractor that really gave me some <clears throat> it felt like you know when we unlock characters here maybe that's how the chiropractor said he looked at me and he said i never had one of these giants subate and i said but aside from that thank you for joining us for another day of the life of cheese man let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to as long as you're telling us some cheese, man, I don't give a flag in Dublin what car you're in. Now, the first thing that I'm actually going to be talking about, did you guys see with Jenny69? Now, a whole update because I've been seeing this all over my TikTok uh, that allegedly some of these nurses came out and said uh, everything that was going on with Miss Jenny69. Uh, some paperwork came out that was leaked. Now, one thing about me, though, is look, I'm all for cheese, man. Yeah, feel me. Uh, but like digging into someone's records or a nurse or a doctor, if this is true, because I, I don't know if this is true or not, yeah, feel me. Uh, but for them to be leaking this type of information, I'm not all for that, yeah, feel me. Uh, that's why there's a law to prevent, you know, nurses and doctors and blah, blah, to be leaking out information like this uh, because, like, I'm for cheese, man, but uh, going into and digging stuff, you know. So, allegedly, I'm not going to play the audio because I don't want to get in trouble with the law if this is true, but allegedly, these are the two nurses right here. Uh, first and foremost, they kind of look like they're 12 or 13 to my knowledge. And another thing is, why would anyone risk their job up for Jenny69? Some people are saying that it's their last day, but they're going to get in more trouble if this is true, not just because it's their last day. Uh, but when they were saying the story, one of the ladies said que le dieron una paliza. Now, to be completely honest with you, either the nurses are hot Cheeto girls or something because they're not going to describe the story as a paliza. I think they would be a little bit more educated. Uh, but they're basically saying in the video that uh, she had a miscarriage and got a paliza from the pelonzote was kind of too much yeah feel me but like i said there is these tiktoks going around saying that this nurse came out and said that uh she had a miscarriage allegedly so make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of the whole situation do you guys think that that's just doing too much her health records i think personally that's a little bit too much make sure to comment down below and the next thing that we're actually gonna be talking about did you guys see what the laundra desesita and miss elsie guayavera if you guys don't remember i think this is a nail tech a girl that does their nails to my knowledge if you don't remember she was calling me out prior uh because i exposed her for calling out laundra desesita and LC. but apparently i made a comment um of someone or something of some someone they hang out with that they were close to and i speak my mind guys uh now there's a tiktok going around that she did it again yeah feel me saying that her kids have diapers yada 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 i don't know if this was you know a uh, shading miss alondra and elsie and then she was basically saying that they didn't make a uh, her specifically Mike. and to be realistic with you guys like i was already doing my thing before i met alondra and elsie Girls, don't bring babies into situations they're innocent. All I said was, does your kid have enough diapers? That's all I said. I literally said nothing about no kids, okay? So I'm not bringing no, no kids with name or last names to the situation. I never said nobody's babies. I just said, do your kids have enough diapers? Like, I, I'm not coming wrong in no way, aspect, form, shape, no. Like, it's hard, don't get me wrong. Like, But being on social media, that's what it brings but i already had my stuff going on before i met them that's what a lot of people don't know like a lot of people saw me through their page yes a hundred percent they were super helpful but yet again every time they needed their nails done there i went you know so it's not like it was nothing done for free they look you don't have friends or can't keep any Zang. but my thing is if you guys aren't even friends anymore why would you even bring up their name if you see their name on the live i would just ignore it so you know more uh things wouldn't erupt but people were saying that this was very unnecessary for her to be saying this type of things and a whole update on la zezina you guys didn't see uh with miranda soto now there was an arrest made for the one that was driving the truck 
Mike. You can see the Isaac guy. He actually got arrested here with the orange jumpsuit. And then you can see here the date right there, 316th. And the offense is $150,000 bond per person. Um, but then we can see here Miranda's just laughing it off over here. Never said that, honey. Then this Chia over here, they didn't know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then she actually responded correct. But to my knowledge, I think they're only charging him because the other two weren't driving. Uh, they were fell asleep, allegedly. But uh, this is still an ongoing investigation, to my knowledge. I know that she continues going on live, just smiling it off. Even hypothetically speaking, she fell asleep or whatever the case was. Uh, for her to just be smiling, laughing, going on live, uh, it, it kind of shows that like she has no empathy. I feel me. Like, she gives no flying Dublin. Like, if she wasn't in a vehicle where that vehicle took away the lives of people. Does she not understand that? But instead, she's over here on live uh, calling people names, uh, yada, yada, yada. I think she needs a really a reality check. And uh, hopefully we could get some justice for everybody and the families because I know they still want more justice to be done. Uh, and for the world news, did you guys see out in Madagascar? I guess there's like crazy weather conditions going on. And one of the roads actually said, Girl, rip my... There's like just like an opening, you feel me, because of these weathers. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. If you guys made it towards the end of the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. I see that on TikTok, we're getting close to 200,000 uh, followers. We need to catch up over here on YouTube so it could be a like. So I appreciate it. If you do enjoy cheese mint, get your daily dose of cheese mint while you're eating your little pan. And I really do appreciate you guys. <laughs> Miren, aquí tenemos un perro nuevo. Se lo dejo en, en 30 dólares. Este no va a crecer. Así siempre se va a quedar. Siempre se va a quedar así. Es un pitbull. Es un pitbull y pues estos los estamos dando. Ya tiene sus vacunas. Ya tiene todo. Y aquí tenemos otro. Es un Rottweiler. Esto sí, se chingan a uno, pero bien y bueno. Después tenemos a este. Este apenas nació. Este se llama Kevin. Y a Kevin lo queremos vender por 10 dólares. Ya tienen sus vacunas. Están limpios. Apenas nacieron ayer, fíjese. Apenas. Naciditos, rapiditos, así nomás. And before we go into reading time, if you made it all the way towards the end for my OGs, OGs that listen, uh, don't be stingy with TikTok. Make sure you follow me. I know all you guys have TikTok. Let's try to get 200,000 followers. Really appreciate it. Now enjoy the music.